Hi, in this video we are going to continue the creation of the website. This is a list of suggestions how you should use this video. The notes for this video can be found here at this URL which is loaded here. Okay, the last step is we are going to create the top navigation. So this is not working, right? But it's a good time to just make a copy of what we have. We do not want to mess up this code because this code is very nicely done. Let me just quickly close that. And let me close this. I want to make a copy of what we have done. So in case we mess up, we can always fall back to the last step. So I'm going to copy everything from church32 folder. Shift select everything and move them and copy them to church32 folder right click copy right click paste sorry yeah so if anything goes wrong we can fall back to older copy okay so make sure that we are looking at the new copy in church33 navigation open this in notepad plus plus and open this in notepad plus plus Go to the bottom. For this one, we want to replace the navigation image with the actual navigation. Um, let's look at the output as well. All right, so this is what we look at. So first thing, we, we delete the image. Save. Oops, why do I go to Yahoo? Save, reload, okay. All right, so this is image is gone. So if you type something, it will appear here. That's great. So the next thing we want to do is to find a navigation. Um, how do you do the navigation? Um, so in the grid, grid system, actually in the, in the um, bootstrap, actually there's something called navigation bar. And there are some examples here we can actually copy. Of course, you need to understand them and all that. Um, I have already done an example in the web design page. Example um, 18 is my navigation template. I have two navigation. One is a very simple basic one, one is a navigation bar that can be collapsed. We want something that can be collapsed because if the um, if you have a long navigation bar and um, the window become too small, you want to be able to do this, right? Instead of this, this is not very nice. So if you go to um, my example and go to view source, the second navigation actually um, gives you how to do it. So the only part you are interested in is the collapse, how to collapse the buttons. This part and the drop down navigation. Okay, of course the, the normal navigation as well. You are not interested to the link in front and all the good stuff. Okay, so this is the template you can just copy into your code and make changes which is here example 18 and then you right click view source the second navigation is the template you can use it only works for bootstrap version 4 beta so be careful about that okay all right so let's um i don't have time to type the whole thing okay because that would take forever um, my video will be two hours, that's not good. So I'm just going to copy my example and then I'm going to explain. Okay, so that is my navigation class, okay. So there's a button for collapsing things. 
All right, and um, here, okay, this part is interesting. Um, and then um, that is um, right aligned, and that is a navigation bar for each navigation bar. There are drop down menus, and this drop down this structure is correspond to what you what, the, what you discuss with the client. In site structure, you talk to the client about your site structure, home services, right? This is your home, and then you have service opportunities, you have your newsletter, Facebook, Google, Google Plus, and then you have your second one, visitors, Spirit Fest, so on and so forth. And the last two are just one level navigation, so these are simple links, okay? And you took care of the middle navigation in the previous video. Save your work. Come over here, reload. You have a navigation here. It's collapsible, which is really cool. But the color is wrong, so you had to fix the color, right? This color is not right, that's the default uh, bootstrap color. So you have to do a little bit of uh, CSS work. So go back to your CSS navigation. And I'm just going to quickly copy it and explain. So for all the links, you want to change the link color, create text shadow, change the family to Arial and 16 points. For when you hover over, change the background color when you hover. And drop down menu, change the background color as well. Save your work. Reload. Probably 16 is a bit too big. Eh, let's try 15. All right, 15 looks good. And then you'll collapse. And then you probably may want to zoom down, take a look. Small phone. Okay. All right. That's a good place to stop. But before we stop, save all. Save this as well. So this is like a complete website. Do a final uh, validation for the HTML. It works, no error, CSS. It works, no error. Okay, so it's a good time to close your index.psd file. Okay, and um, you can close all this as well. Anyway. So you can close all this as well. This is your final product in Church 33 folder. So to run this website, you need a whole folder. Okay, so if you copy everything from the Church 3 folder, 33 website folder, the, the website is going to run. So what's next? So this is just one file, okay? The next thing you need to do is, you need to go to index.htm, all these navigations are not real, so you have to change all this to actual files. Like service.htm, newsletter.htm, Facebook group.htm. Oh, sorry, this is a link to Facebook. Um, you know, change all this to real links. Change the middle, middle navigation to real links. So you, then you finish the actual navigation. And then you can, let's say you create one file called service.htm and create all the links. And then you can make a copy of index.htm and rename that file as service.htm. So you created two files, right? So you keep duplicating this. So you have multiple files. 
and then you actually have an actual website. So this is coding for one file. The next step is to create a real navig navigation links and then make duplicates of this file. For each individual file, you have to change the banner image. You have to change the content so that actually they become different files. Um, one thing I want to talk about is for the navigation, you do not want to duplicate the navigation. So a easy way to do this is instead of HTML file, you use PHP files, which is not the not the um, it's not what I want to cover in this video. Is something else. So if you use PHP PHP files, that's actually called include statement. Uh, which is a function in PHD that allow, uh, which is a function in PHP, allow you to write the top navigation menu once, put it in a separate file, and load it in different files. So when you make a change to the navigation, you don't have to go to each file and change because you will have a lot of files. All this navigation would link to different files, but that is not the um, that's not um, the focus of this video, so that is more for the future. Uh, after web design, the next step obviously is how do you use what you design to uh, make it more useful. So the next step is server-side programming. You know, a natural next step is server-side programming like PHP. Okay, um, that's all for this series of videos. Um, thanks for watching. Um, this is the last video of the series. Thanks for staying with the series for so long and um, bye.